consider supporting Archeosoup on Patreon for as little as a dollar per month. Link available in video description. Thank you. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love a nice mug of tea. And of course, with tea, often comes the obligatory biscuit. And one of my favourite types of biscuit is the humble but majestic digestive. They're a simple, delicious accompaniment to tea. And recently, they blew my mind. The digestive biscuit was invented in 1839 supposedly by two Scottish doctors, though I cannot locate their names. In 1892, Sir Alexander Grant de Forres of the McVitie's Company formally began manufacture of the McVitie's Digestive Biscuit, and while they were and are a wonderful accompaniment to tea, the recipe was initially devised specifically to have a high sodium bicarbonate content. Supposedly, the doctors who came up with the recipe were seeking an antacid quality in the biscuit, something to aid digestion. When I learned this, I was gobsmacked. It was staring me in the face. It was like the time I learned that the Bluetooth symbol is a combination of the runes for HB, Harold Bluetooth, an ancient Viking king. Or well, that time I realised that the power button on so many gadgets is a combination of one and zero, literally the symbols for on and off. Or even when I learned that umbro isn't just a random word, it's actually a contraction of Humphrey Brothers. <gasps> it's been staring me in the face all my life. Digestive. The digestive biscuit was intended to aid digestion. Now, it would be wrong to imply that we're the only creatures that specifically eat something to aid our digestion. There are such things as gastroliths, for example, small stones that many different animals eat, deliberately swallow, in order to aid breaking up of food and digestion in the gut. But I would suggest that the digestive is different because it relies on our knowledge of chemistry, and related skills such as cooking which humans have been doing for the past 500,000 years. Indeed, cooking and baking is one of those things that makes us us, whereas tool use, culture, and even forms of language is something that other animals do. We are the animal that brings ingredients together and cooks to aid digestion. You could say that digestive biscuits are one of the great symbols of humanity. And the chocolate digestive invented in 1925, well, need I say more? <laughs> you know what I fancy? A nice cup of tea and a biscuit. Put it out. We've got ours here. There's always a sacrifice to the 